Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. Welcome to this edition of Scientifics, our weekly list of globally curated important scientific stories. An early version of a spacecraft that SpaceX hopes will shuttle people into deep space one day has completed its highest and most intense test earlier this week. The spacecraft, called Star Hopper, fired up its engine for about a minute and soared 150 meters above the ground before landing upright. A Star Hopper has undergone a series of brief hop tests to collect data and help engineers understand how to land a spacecraft on another planet. SpaceX founder Elon Musk said this was the last hop test for this prototype. A vast study conducted with data from over 500 individuals has shown that no single gene can predict homosexuality. According to the report, Sexual orientation is influenced by a multitude of genetic factors, each having a tiny effect. In a first, a video of a mating dance of a Himalayan monal was captured from the Kedarnath Wildlife Sanctuary in Uttarakhand. A forest officer released the video of the colourful bird species dancing in the wild, stating that this may be the first ever such footage from the Himalayan state. Scientists from German Federal Institute for Risk Protection have found that tattoo needles can cause allergic reactions even when they are clean. Until now, it was thought that the tattoo inks, which contain high amounts of nickel, chromium, cobalt and mercury, were primarily responsible for these allergic reactions. The research showed that titanium dioxide a chemical used to brighten the colors of tattoo inks erodes the needles, causing microscopic bits of chromium and nickel to enter the immune system. Scientists have discovered a 3.8 million year old skull that could reveal fresh insights into the origins of one of the humanity's most famous ancestors, Lucy. Researchers say that this newly discovered species coexisted in prehistoric Ethiopia with Lucy's species for at least 100,000 years. This is Mohana Basu for The Print.